my beautiful friend Taurus. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to give you some beautiful messages from your special person and uh, special messages from the above. Okay, today we have a special guest, my lovely friend uh, Taurus. Let me show you. Hi. She's uh, four years old, border collie, my daughter. Okay, I really hope you're having a wonderful Sunday wherever you are. And let's begin with, first of all, dear universe. I recently ordered this book from Amazon and they have 200 mini meditations for instant manifestations. Okay, so please take a look. I'm going to give you random messages from this book. Thank you, universe. Thank you, God. Please give us the message for my lovely Taurus. What is the message for my lovely Taurus? This one. <laughs> okay, it has two, but I'm going to read this one. Shy, shy. If you are the quiet type, you are probably all too familiar with the scary situation of speaking in front of a group of people. The good news is that being shy isn't something you need to overcome. You just need to embrace it. There are quiet, there are quiet leaders in the world, shy people who have achieved amazing things and accomplished greatness. There is nothing wrong with being shy. If you, are, if you have ever been told to speak up or to be, to be more confident, the thing to remember is that you are uniquely you. You don't have to prove yourself to anyone and you don't have you don't have anything to be afraid of. I might be a little shy when you first meet me, but I soon warm up. Okay, so, 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 so. Here, the box. Dear Universe, this is a really important meditation synthesis. Dear Universe, may I now embrace who I am and cease to think I should be somebody else. I now appreciate my own inner strengths and trust it is always expressed in my own authentic way. So be it. So it is. Okay, that's the message from Dear Universe by Sarah Prout. Okay, so go check out. I'm, I'm going to give you the description. I'm going to give you the link down below at the description box. box. Okay, Taurus, what's the message from your angel? One more. This one. Big happy changes. Oh my gosh. Lovely, lovely, lovely messages. Big happy changes are coming your way this weekend. Wow. So at the end of... Oh my gosh. The first message is really powerful in any kind of reading, okay? So Taurus, whatever you're pursuing in your life, whether it's a romantic relationship whether or whether it's a business goal or anything... Big happy changes are coming your way. Okay, I can feel the beautiful energies. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to ask the Romance Angel deck about your love life. What's the message for my lovely friend, Taurus? Big happy changes are coming your way. So maybe you can expect some beautiful changes in your love life as well. Uh, okay. My angel said keep going, so I should keep going. One, two, three. Now let's take a look. Okay, okay. Playfulness, playfulness. Taurus, to recapture romance, allow your inner useful spread of fun to shine. Okay. If there is anybody approaching you this week, just go and say, hey, hi. What are you doing? How are you doing? Okay. Be in that kind of teenager mode. Be in that kind of playful mode. Don't be serious. Okay. You... You can do it. Don't be shy. The first message is big happy changes anyway. So if you take the leap of faith, you never know what will happen to you. And another one is it is safe for you to love. It is safe for you to love, Taurus. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. At the end of the day, if you feel like that you are single and lonely and there is nobody around you, maybe the reason why is because you made the self-sabotaging situation yourself. Why don't you go outside and enjoy the beautiful sunlight and be socialized with your friends and you never know, your friend will introduce you a beautiful lady or handsome guy <laughs> or when you go to a mall or a bookstore, maybe they will catch the same same gloves just like in the movie Serendipity, you never know, okay? Let it happen. It is safe for you to love and to receive love. And the third card is deception. Somebody is wearing a false mask in this relationship. So, Taurus, I feel like that you are meeting someone these days where you are dealing with someone and uh, you haven't fully, uh, truly expressed your feeling toward them or vice versa. The person that you are thinking right now, they are playing mind games where they are wearing the false mask. They pretending that everything is okay, for example. 
But deep down, maybe there is another story they have to talk with you, but for some reason they can't. Yes. Okay, what's the message for my lovely Taurus? Chemistry! Chemistry card just came to you. So there is a strong magnetic attraction here. So even though you guys are wearing a false mask, both of you were either of you, one of you are wearing false mask, but whether you are showing the true utmost vulnerable side or not, the physical chemi chemistry is undeniable. Wow. So you can expect some beautiful intimate time if you want. One more. This one wanted to come. Give your relationship a chance. If there is anybody come to you, don't be shy. Big happy changes are guaranteed. So give it a try. Okay. Have that kind of get getting to know each other uh, stays. Be uh, lighthearted and, you know. I'm not saying go jump into the physical intimacy, okay? <laughs> I'm saying taking your time to get to know each other and work on your partnership, as this card says, instead of suppressing your feeling, if you have that kind of special feeling towards a special person, Taurus, go for it, express your love. That's the advice from the romance angel. And finally, I'd like to give you some special message from your special person. This one may be special person. You are not talking with them for some reason. Maybe your ex-partner or maybe your current partner who is not together with uh, for some reason recently. There was a misunderstanding each other. They wanted to say something, but you guys are not talking that much. So this one is for you. Okay. Let's see. I really miss you, Taurus. Your person really miss you a lot. Oh my gosh. Do you like me or not? They want to know whether you feel the same way as you used to before. Do you like me or not? Okay. Am I your type? Am I even your type? <laughs> they are asking you. Maybe because of the inferiority issue. They think that you are talking with somebody else. Do you think about me? Am I your type? I want to I want to wine and dine you. But deep down, they want to have the beautiful moment with you again. And I am waiting for the perfect opportunity. Your person, your ex-partner or your current partner who is not talking that much, they think about you all the time. And they are looking for the perfect opportunity to approach you, to reconcile with you, to to build a romantic castle again okay so it's up to you give them a try or not it's up to you taurus i'll be back next time with another reading have a wonderful day and night i love you bye <laughs> bye